No, because why is it not all? Because we use more compression. And we actually travel across the floor because we swing our body weight. Right? That is the difference. Yeah? So what I don't what I don't like to see is this. And this is all about upsetting the posture as well. You some of you want to move so much that you dance open, open, slow, quick, quick, slow. Because you think you're going to move. But if I do this, pass, 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 pass. I'm finishing a step. Yeah? Are you all with me? Yes. Right, good. <laughs> and it's got to do the same. Right, so she's got half a step, completion. Half, complete. Half, complete. Now you can see that her, her opposite foot to me is passing her body at the same time my foot is passing the body. So we're bringing the hip line into, into neutral to be able to create power. Yeah? But so, you see, I see so many of you start with your thumb sticking out or sticking in too much. You don't walk around like that. Yeah? So it's got to be absolutely natural. So if we take a step and step again from here, two, three, four, slow, four, four, slow, go with, with, slow, go with. Right, it's got to be light. We don't want to hear it. Right? When you're judging, you can hear some couples coming. Right. So we don't want to hear that. You've got to treat the floor. Right? The floor is your best friend. Exactly. The late Bill Irvin once said that your feet should be like an artist's brushes. Painting a canvas. The way you use your feet. I don't want to make any more. I don't want to do it. Now, another famous coach once said to me, any fool can rise but it takes a wonderful dancer to lower correctly. So to go up is easy, but to control the lowering is the thing, right? Now this is another thing, girls, that if your posture is correct, you will lower from the man's action. If your posture is one of these, you will dictate the lowering, and that is a complete crime. Because you get to hear something to go to drop. Right? And, you, and it cuts you out. Yeah? So, and this is why of course we don't get into those positions. Right? So, what is the difference between a good lowering action and a drop? Right, I'm going to give Anna now the thrill of the week. Give me that. Put it there. Right. Now, if I do that I drop. Right? If I lower with this action, I lower through the legs, right? I don't drop the spine. Now, this is how I want you to think about it. If I'm walking and I'm over my feet, good. Now, if for example you said to me, how many meters from here to the corner? I'd go one, two, three, four. So you see, I've, I've opened the legs outside of my body, so you see the drop. And if I see a drop, sometimes when I'm judging, I actually look at the heads, right? Against maybe against the back of the boring or something like that. You see some of them go, bump, oh, you see others go, quick, quick, yeah? So we don't want those drops. Good. Now, Anna's, we're coming now back to all these things that add up, right? We haven't yet talked about arms and hands. Now, like your feet, those hands are on the end of your arms are a, a, a very, very important part of your performance. I hold a hand. I can't stand this. 
Now, I've got that one in the plaster. I feel this one should be in the plaster. Right? It's not natural. Right? So, what we do, is I open that part of my hand, right? Hand of the bed. So, I apply that and I hold my hand up to the bed. So, we've got like a letter A without the cross bar in there. Yeah? So, now I'm giving a certain amount of connection. Not pressure, connection, and at the same time, I was giving me exactly the same back. Okay? Now, there are all sorts of hands. We have what, you know, you've got what they used to call the monkey grip, right? Then they thought, this might cure the monkey grip, but now we've got the snooker grip. <laughs> Frozen hand, like that. Right. So, hands you want to be sensitive. Right, so if I do that now, right, I've shaped my hand to fit. Like, if I pick up a glass, my hand fits the glass. If I put my hand on Anna's bottom, it's the wrong hand. Right, <laughs> right. it fits. Now, I see this sometimes with this hand on the girl's back. It's like it's, it's stiff, it's working. I can't do it that hand. Um, Come here a second, because I can't. Right. Um, give me that hand, right? Take, take that hold of that hand. Right. Right. Do it right. Do it right. 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 Just come together, right? Some of you do this. Right. Okay, come away, Anna. Come away, Anna. Now, see that? Now, if Anna's back was that shape, she'd be in a wheelchair. <laughs> now, he... We can see it. Right. Right? Like that. Right. Now, so he's got to create from the elbow a curve that eventually fits and is sensitive to his partner's back. Now we don't do that because now of course that also brings the shoulder in as well. So that has to be so sensitive and there's a curve. Right, if I do that, you can see there's a curve. Right? Now if I can curve that one, that's what I want to fit in her back. All right, come on, there's another hand hold on the show as well. Right, okay. right. Now, I hate it when I see that boy's hands up there. What's it up there for? Step away, Anna. Right, what's it put to you up there? Right? Where should the man's hand be on the lady's back? Oh, there's a very simple solution. Just find her bra line. <laughs> right? And that's where you place the hand. So it, this that part of the hand is just on the on the base of it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, see, you can see a shoulder blade there. So that hand fits out there. Right. But it's but it's no good up there too, right? So you get this. Now, why do, why do some of you boys do that? I tell you why. Thank you very much for the Why? Because when you put your arms up, you think I've got to be big. <laughs> I've got to be big. Right, so you do this. Right? Now walk away from me. There's nothing between me and my hand. Right? Now I've got something very special between my body and my hand. What's that? What is special about between my body and my hand? What's special about? What is, what is between my body and my hand? My partner. <laughs> <laughs> my person. <laughs> right. right. Okay. So, I have to place that hand, which I unfortunately I can't do correctly, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Now, when we were talking about turning the bodies and the lady reacting to those turns, I work between my hands. Right? Because between there and there, I've got to transmit rotation to my partner. So if my hands are out here and I turn, I can sort of separate my body from it. So you've got your, your three points of contact, right? One, two, three. Yeah. So we must have the elbows, right, should be a little lower and a little in front of the center of the shoulder joint. So I don't want my elbow behind. I want them there. Okay? And that one comes around.
on my phone. Now, Anna's going to do the same. Just <coughs> take up your hold on this box, so, right? So she brings her arms up from here, right? And we've got to feel that with me, because I'm not that tall, right? I'm shrinking fast. <coughs> that when she moves, those arms have actually got to breathe forward. Do your feather set for you, Anna. They've got to stay with me, right? Don't take your arms with your with you girls this way, right? So what we're doing as we take this feather set from here, remember we were talking about the connection and the connection here now, right? We both breathe our arms towards each other, slow, call it, call it slow. Yeah. So we don't disturb the balance. Yeah. So here we, we'll do that one more time. I mean, this time we're going to do a reverse way. And see what happened? I took my arms away, took my weight away. Right, do that first. You do it properly this time. One, two, three, four. Get the picture? You're not, you know, you're not, you look as though you're in the dentist waiting. <laughs> <laughs> We're, 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 we're trying our best. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, 